Hello to you, the season few. Welcome to the dark matches of the SSU. That rhymed, I'm not a rapper, but here we have it as requested by the champion. The top 10 rankings. King Dominator, of course, holding second. Jakai holding third. Fourth is Caramel Ice. Pistol beat ill will. All looking to challenge for the championship. Now, if we want to look at the other rankings, right? The power rankings are for the game, for the people. But the true division rankings, Ill Will is number one. Jakai is number two. And so on and so forth. Interplanetary title is challenged, of course, by Ryan O'Reilly, Jesus Cage, Pistol Pete. Bubba Wilcox looking for that UFO title rematch. King Pikachu looking for that boost. ENT Brad looking for that 100% boost. There it is, champion. And now it's all up to you. The season few. Who do you think should challenge for the champion? Hit the comment section and let me know now. As we slide into a very, very quick episode of Dark Matches. Now again, guys. We're out here showcasing talent. We're out here showcasing skill. We're out here showcasing AI versus AI algorithmic ability. And it's still all based on your comments. These matches tonight still matter. None of these matches that we put up here don't matter. Tonight, the tag team division being challenged by the champion in the comments of the previous video. Him and King Dominator willing to take on all competitors in a classic tag team match he refuses to fight in the war games although that was a very amazing pay-per-view almost 100 views on that guys thank you for running that up appreciate it hit the like hit the share and let's take it there ssu universe created by you the season few rpg style character progression fantasy sports style betting in the most electrifying four corners known to mankind pro wrestling i need you guys to do me one favor and stay seasoned I'm going to hand it over to Michael Cole and the boys to do commentary tonight. As we are ready to go. They are ready for paddle. trouble. Standing. I'm just the homie in the crowd. I'm just here chilling with you to see if you hit the comment section. You are the one in control of the storyline. Even in these dark matches, everything you do matters. All audio, all music made by me and you to see if you and you can check it out. Right in Jay Solo's music and videos. Let's go. Of course, the two biggest tag teams in the division right now, Will King Dominator and Weapon X. Challenge. And we're on our way in this tag team matchup. There's a pecking order in the tag team division, and one of these teams is jockeying for position at the very top. Some serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. Sleeper hook cinched in deep. Fading, fading. After everything, these two... And... 
Kicks out of the sleeper. He knew that was coming. Right to the kidneys from behind. Boom! The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Headbutt to the groin. That was low. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. Efficient offense leaving no breathing room. Training, strategizing, and execution. It's all coming together right now. Is that what you want? You can't challenge Jake Savage. You guys want to get hit in the jibs? Head man, this guy just did three. You go, you know what I'm saying? Can you see how I changed Jay Savage's moves now? I'm coming after Weapon X, and he's going back to that vicious old school style. If you guys don't know the storyline of Jay Savage, that's what it is, baby. Jay Savage may be going back to that old school vicious self. Weapon X not acknowledging his tag team titles, not acknowledging his UFO titles. Is he becoming a bad guy once again? Is he upset that the champion is not acknowledging him? We'll see here in these dark matches here tonight. And a clothesline. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. A collision like that could mark a turning point for this entire match. You're looking to do some serious damage. Oh, the old whipper snapper. Letting his opponent know he can take on the world right now. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. Hey, there it is. You guys didn't see the pay-per-view, did you? Or if you did, you would have known that taunting from Armored Brandon can get you in a lot of trouble here in the SSU. With classic style wrestling, of course, Jay Savage doing a little taunt here and there. Will it be cheating? Will it be classic winning? I mean, we want to see a classic win, but, you know, you got to do what you have to do. And the referee seems to be in control of this match right now. So is Armored Brandon. We're getting Armored Brandon and Brandon Brothers and uh, really... You some of the best again, tag team action win. we've seen in quite some time, and it looks like they're willing to do it. Hoisted looks like up. bad guy versus bad guy tonight. Burning Hammer while the referee counts down. Burning Hammer to end it. What a beautiful maneuver. Beautiful maneuver from Brandon. Oh, he got up. No freaking way. No way. That is so dramatic. I couldn't even play it if I wanted to. No one is controlling this, guys. I swear to you. You've seen it live. Hot tags. Here we go. This is crazy. Crazy. Get in the comment section and tell your story, Ren. Right now, I'm telling my story with me and my son. Um, and, of course, all the AI and everything. Like, I don't get WWE. I don't get AEW. There's no storylines that matter other than the bloodline, of course. The bloodline storyline is great, but, you know, what else is there? Here, we got Brandon, Armour Brandon, trying to get the tag team division. But, of course, they can't win because they got no points. No one's commenting for them. But uh, I do uh, hope that they show up one day. Shout out to my man, GameStreamer23, making a huge power ranking push. This is it right here. This is when Jay Savage usually loses the branding. They lose all the time to them. Uh-oh. This is the storyline. This is it. But he's got that tag team boost right now. So, again, let me explain how the tag team belts work. If you have the tag team belts, when you have your partner with you, you get a boost. And if you have, uh, do not have your tag team partner with you, then you get a debuff. Oh, he's dead. Dynamic D. There's the tag. Oh, man, this is going to be bad for my character, but he's standing strong center of the ring, and he met him right in the center of the universe. He, this is it. He's a veteran now, bro. He's also got the UFO title, so the tag team titles, once again, give you a boost when your partner's with you. Oh, that was a good get-up right there by the monster that is Brandon Armour. Brandon. Do you see the difference in style of fighters as well? There goes that taunt that's going to get him in trouble again. But do you see the difference in styles of character? I take a painstaking amount of time to create people that are different. And look at my son just blowing through Armour Brandon there. That's crazy. Who's really the powerhouse? The storylines are better than even in WWE. I created these AI characters down to a T. I'm like the Da Vinci of this, okay? Look at the storylines. They're all so realistic. You have to 
really understand how you gotta give me love, man. Look at this. Look at this story. He's my powerhouse. Savage Spike is my powerhouse. And there goes the scissor trip into a single leg boss at the most amazing wrestling maneuver you've ever seen in your life. He had to save his brother, but his brother's leg is absolutely compromised, and he's turning the tables on this match, showing that the tag team boosts are massive. You hear me? That when they're together, they get a huge boost. He's going to go for that gut punch again. Going to go for that gut punch again. This time he still doesn't go anywhere. He's trying to get him to fall down, but he refuses to fall. Body shots. He tells this man to go down, and he does it. That's drama. That's, and even poses at the end. And he's been sitting there for 15 minutes waiting for his spot. If that was like a real wrestling match, why was Armour Brandon sitting there just waiting for his spot? This is all live, bro. This is, this is, I'm telling you, I do not touch it. I just let it go, and this is so good. So much storyline. Oh, my God, a little dance, a little dipsy do for us. Thank you, sir. Tap him out. Tap him out. Oh, save me. Man, Michael Cole, take care of this, boss. This is crazy right now. Oh, my God, that gut punch again. He refuses to use anything else on this guy. Oh, this time he drops. Oh, my God, this time he actually falls down. That's awesome. Even Young Savage is going crazy. The AI Young Savage, the brother. And he ducks the neck. Look at this guy's um, the pocket right now. Knife chop. Knife chop gets reversed. Uh-oh, Brandon has a chance here. What's he going to do? He's tired. Big lariat in the corner. Big clothesline. Putting his whole body weight. There goes that taunt again, man. He's going to get himself in trouble. Remember, guys, get in the comments. If you want to upload your character with the hashtag SSU in WWE 2K23 Community Creations, then you might find yourself in a few episodes. But, of course, you got to comment, RPG-style character position. Play the role if you want to play the game. Fantasy sports style betting. You can bet on the match like right now. I bet on me and my son, of course. But we got the whole Savage Squad here. That's it. That's the same uh, move he used to beat Weapon X. But unfortunately, he couldn't take the big. No one's been able to beat him. And the champion still has to choose uh, who he's going to fight. And I'm, I'm thinking he's going to choose uh, pretty wisely. So, once again, thank you to my uh, champion, uh, basically Shang Tsung. He's going to try and choose Sonya Blade to fight, I'm sure. Uh, but he's a, he's a good champion, bro. He's playing the storyline to a T. And I, again, I might talk trash about him, but I actually love you guys. You know that. You know I love you. And when it comes to Jakai and the tag teams and all that, like, okay, you have to understand the storyline and why he got a chance at your belt. I know you tried to decree him that he couldn't, but look what happened. He's the one who won war games for us, period. And you lost the chance to get the tag team titles. And then he gave up the tag team titles. He didn't even say, I want the belt, and he's the one that won them. And now Savage Squad and Jay Savage and Savage Spike have belts, and they have to prove themselves because Jakai basically gave it to him. He could have challenged for those belts or just took it from one of them. So, you know, from the way the system that War Games was set up. He was so gracious, and he wants your title. We'll see what happens down the line. Beautiful back elbow. That's how you win a match, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Easy Season you. Again, I'm uh, doing a different format here. I'm letting Michael Cole and the boys get involved because I got the uh, got I got the boys in the background. I got my little mans, but the whole thing is, is I want to give you guys an episode. So storyline: Brandon Armor, Brandon, who usually beat Savage Squad tonight, take a loss because of that tag team boost because of Jay Savage's UFO title, which he did not use tonight. He literally just cheated. Just cheated with the groin shots. Uh, old Jay Savage may be back. He may be the better tactician that we've ever seen. He is a veteran. And he's got his family on his side. What about you, the season few? Where's your squad at? Where's your team? King Dominator, Weapon X, doing a good job uh, at pushing the uh, agenda. Pushing that Red Lion agenda. Interplanetary boost and the SSU title boost. Giving the champion... for some extra security to separate these two, but the damage has been done, let's be honest. Get them out of here. Get them out of here now. 
Can they still participate in this match? I still can't believe that competitor would jump them before the match. It took multiple people just to stop the attack. There is serious bad blood between those two. After a shot get attacked during the entrances, this match has found its way inside the ring at last. Now we can really get things started. These superstars were certainly in a hurry to get this started. That was a brilliant strategy, guys. Throw your opponents off by taking the fight to them. Oh, man, you can see he is feeling it now. Big forearm. This is just brute power. Oh, my goodness, absolute dominance. Big splash. I mean, I guess I should take the time to tell you guys about the four planets and how the algorithm kind of works. So, when you upload your character to WWE 2K23 with the hashtag SSU, what's going to happen is you're going to find yourself in a match. And when that match happens, it would be very wise for you to speak on what planet you would like to be from, as that planet will give you a latent boost. Think of it this way. If you come from the white mermaid planet, you get a boost in finisher and signature. Oh but you guys know finisher and signature can be reversed as quick as you can get it. Red lion, you get a boost to the arm strength, goals lines, punches, things of that matter. You're going to get a boost in that right there. Black scorpion, all submission, pop pow, get that enough boost. That's pretty good. And of course, the massive green gold planet stamina boost. Oh my god, Combat 10. We haven't seen this in so long. Oh, this is why I freaking love his character. He's the only classic character in the game left, man. Combat 10 right now. Combat 10 right now. Oh, well, break from Colossus himself. Big old possum, an actual Australian wrestler. Hey, good on you, mate. Kicks him in his freaking chest and hits him with a double axe handle. That's how you get busy. That looked good. See, these are different wrestlers, you know, and I, I really appreciate what the game's created. I mean, the developers are created at WWE 2K23, you know, the 2K devs. They did a good job this time around, and I think the AIs are so... Uh, they have so many different sliders and menus and menus on menus on menus on menus, on menus that it really allows you to create... People with their own attitude, and I've uh, I'm not sure right now. Maybe Go Possum is one of my favorite. He's got to kick out. Yeah. Don't doubt him. He's already earned his 10 points. I'm going to put another 10 on Big Old Possum. Possible 20 points for me. That's the fantasy sports style betting that I'm talking about. RPG style character progression. All you got to do is get in the comments, play the role. If you want to play the game, fantasy sports style betting, bet on your favorite. Get your character boosted. In the most electrifying four corners. Time to make. Here it is, baby, the Rock Possum. I asked him on Twitter. I said, hey, buddy, what's your actual name? And the moment he said the Rock Possum, I can't believe this guy kicked out of that. No one kicked out of the Rock Possum. He go, he's playing Possum. Oh, my God. Fake your death. Hashtag fake your death, man. That's his uh, motto there. Uh, thank God to Big Old Possum, a real wrestler, allowing us to use his likeness. It's just amazing. Thank you again, Big Old Possum. And his manager, Possum. That's right, the ladies' triple crown champion giving him a boost right now. So I highly doubt that he's going to be losing this match. Shout out to you, the season few. Every single belt matters. It's just not a piece of hardware you can wear. Tag team titles, you get a boost if your partner's with you. If not, you get a debuff. 
That was a nice move. That might be the end of it. Holy cow, that was a great reversal. Yeah, that was just a great reversal. No, I can't. Like, no, that was just a great reversal. Yeah, and he did get beat up. Oh, that's right. King Dominator did. He hold on. Why is he still getting? Oh, that's right. That's right. I can tell you why this is happening. Because I created everyone who had beef. Uh, King Dominator is with Weapon X. And Weapon X does not like gimmick characters. And, well, he became one. And uh, things are getting a little twisted. So, big old boss. I'm not here. Not here to be treated disrespectfully. He's here to earn respect and right now. He's earning it right now. And he's definitely earning mine as the sheriff has to come out. This is, a, that's the sheriff, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. This has to be a Texas sheriff right now. They knocked his hat off. I think someone's going to be going to jail. I'll tell you that much. Officially underway, and the intensity is incredibly high, as evidence of the way this match started. And you know, I just hope we have a clean fight here moving forward. I'm not sure you should get your hopes up. If that starts anything to go by, we are in for a drag out slugfest here. Oh, and a stop. Oh, and a reversal. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Is this even legal? I don't think so. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. All the way up. Sidewalk slam delivered. He wants even more out of his opponent. DDT. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Backbreaker. And now he rolls out looking for a timeout. You don't get any timeouts in a fight. That's just running away. Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. And look at it for a back suplex. Very nice. This match grinded him down a little. He avoids the damage. Side headlock applied. Oh, a good punch. measure. He heads outside. Whoa. Countouts legal in this match. Uh oh. Oh, he knew what was coming. Ah, oh, clubbing blow to the back. And now thrown back into the ring. Wow, springboard attack. Oh, the crown. Answering back. Absorbed some damage already. Oh no, get You guys, some people are probably like, oh, why did you not come to on game show? Listen, this is not I'm trying to be a point. You guys already are invested in the storyline. Game is winning in the beginning. Just compete, makes subtle comebacks in his own special way. Very beautiful scissor. Headlock takedown there. And a big boot. He has a very distinct style. Carmelice, once again, though. Taunting. His taunting is getting him in trouble, which is the storyline between these two. Real picks for Pete. Make that also fatal mistake at the very end. I hope so. Uh, that's how I set it up. So. Maybe not, though, because here comes the not dying. Now, my Running knee! This match is brutality starting to show on him. 
There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is taking flight. Perhaps worth it now. These gentlemen get after it. Here are the highlights. Here is your winner. It's surprising. Very surprising. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's why I always love this game. You never know. You never know. And that's another reason why I also love the SSU. As much as I create this algorithm and I hope for the best, like these are dark matches. Like these are playtesting. That's why this is a not a real episode. I'm just trying to prove the point to you guys tonight that I take a lot of time trying to get the story right. And uh, this time it, the computer didn't taunt as much as I wanted it to. But that was a really strong showing from Pistol Pete. Uh, as long as he keeps his mind on the match, it shows me that he will win. And Carmel Ice loves to taunt. I, want, I still want to see that apron. I still want to see that apron hip shake. You hear me? That's that's my guy right there. But he out there showing the ladies what they want. And that's action. Carmel Ice guaranteed the challenge for the championship one day soon. Coming up next, AJ Jenkins, Ill Will. Let's get busy, y'all. Hit the like. Let's kill all robots by simply getting involved, hitting the comments, be in genuine, you know, having genuine responses. Sharing it is really important. Hit the bell so you always get notifications. Let's get back to this AI, AI action. Yeah. start this match good sportsmanship here yeah i like to see this or uh, oh no i don't like seeing that that. sportsmanship this is what i like to see let him fight well that's gonna fire him up for sure hey maybe they shouldn't have taken the bait right i agree with you cole these two can't stand one another i don't know why anyone thought we'd see otherwise the tensions between these competitors almost completely disrupted this match but now these superstars look ready for even more action and you know what? I respect the decision to still go through with this match after an attack like that. I'm not sure whether I think they're brave or foolish, but it does take guts. Ah, oh, right in the mat, face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. Ooh, merciless looking blow. coming at you and the explosion occurring ringside turning the tables there uh oh oh there the barricade gut first the damage he's taking is starting to pile up toss back into the ring Wasting absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. Compromised position here. Ooh, him playing the trick here. His shoulders are down. He thought he had it. Oh, the knees, the knees caught him. Could be a turning point. There's a wheelbarrow. Into the DDT. Of 
just, I'm really trying to play test this whole thing and, uh, and showing you that I need to turn a few things up because people that I no doubt it was a good one. Should be winning Here's or losing because right now Ilwell is the number one uh, contender for Here's the uh, title. AJ. So you are going to see what's up with that. But so I wanted to invite you guys really in and uh, show injury. you what's going on with the AI guy, the generated stuff. Not every time. There's nothing every time. But that's why we try and try and try to give you guys the best show ever. These are free extra points, you know? Three extra points, and I really need to get my watch time up anyway. <laughs> get your character involved. I'll see you guys at the next episode of SSU Live.